Hi, in this short video I'm going to demo AccuRank Tracker for you and show you just how quick and easy it is to use this software to keep track of the search engine rankings of all of your websites and keywords. We don't restrict or put any kind of limits on the number of URLs or keywords you can add to the software. So unlike many of the other rank trackers on the market, which seems like they're you know constantly concentrating on how they can make their software as complicated as possible, <laughs> we concentrate on two primary things. The number one thing is providing the absolute most accurate ranking possible 100% of the time. And number two is accomplishing that while retaining a very user-friendly and easy-to-use user interface. And we believe we've done that very well with AccuRank Tracker, but we'll let you be the judge of that. And we'll go ahead and get into the demo. All of this is uh, for a one-time fee, very low fee, um, no subscriptions, no monthly fees, no yearly fees. All future updates are free of charge, and there will be many. One-click updates, um, so you open up the app, it'll tell you there's a new update, you click a button, and it installs for you. No downloading, no hassle with that. Very quick and very easy, just like the app in general. Very quick and very easy. Um, so let's go ahead and get started once you get your um, version uh, installed on your PC uh, you'll obviously want to get the site URLs and keywords added so there are two ways to do that manually and an import so if you only have a handful of keywords you would just go ahead and do it manually add your, your site URLs here add your keywords here It's very quick and very easy and then you would associate the keywords with the URLs here with the add statistics. So you select your keyword, your URL, what country you want to assign to that keyword and URL, and you can do different countries for different keywords. And then a proxy, and I'll get into that here in just a second, and this is optional. You do not need to add one. This is optional. So once you do that, you would click save, and it would automatically appear down here as all of these appear. You can click the play button to check each one of these individually, or you can click check, which will check them all at once. And then obviously you can delete them, uh, delete the rows right here with the X, and you can stop the checking um, right here with the stop button. Um, there are reports, as I'll show you right here. You click View History, and you can change the date range right here. So we'll go back a week or two. We'll click a Refresh, and as you can see, this particular keyword has ranked number one for Google and Bing, which is why you only see one color because they're both number one, so they cover each other up. Um, and you can scroll in and out. You can go all the way out. You can go to, <laughs> it'll start going into years. It will go back to 2013 or 2012. Uh, you can pull it over, drag and drop. You can zoom back in. Um, very cool um, history um, that we have here. So you can do that for all of your keywords and check the history at any time. Um, you can also export. So if you right click right here and click export selected records, it will take a look. We'll go ahead and run one here test three and it will view in the settings you can set a logo which uh, I'll show you that here in just a second and this is the logo I have set and then it will basically produce a very clean and professional um, basic um, search engine history report so if you run a local SEO agency for example and you want to run reports for your clients every month you can just go into AccuRank Tracker right click um, export report and send it off to them take about five seconds uh, okay, so let's get into the settings real quick. Uh, file settings. You can schedule it to run, so you can just minimize AccuRank Tracker and, and it'll go into the taskbar. Uses very little resources. Um, you can set it to check every day at a certain time, or every week, or every so many hours. So if you wanted to do it every month, you could, you know, figure out how many hours that is, um, and click save. And once you click save, from then on, as long as you keep it running, um, and like I said, it uses very little system resources. Just minimize it and it will check at that specific time that you set. You can also assign a general proxy. Um, this is something that most people probably won't use, but I guess there are some users who may want to use that, and any proxy that you assign right here will run every keyword, every query through that proxy. Um, and this is the logo path for the reports that I just now showed you, so whatever you have set here is what will, uh, is the logo that, will pull, that it will pull for the reports. If you leave it, leave it empty, it just won't use a logo. Um, you can set a default country right here for these statistics, which can be changed at any time, so this isn't extremely important. Um, and that's it for the settings. Very quick and very easy. Um, you can also assign a proxy to a specific country or to multiple specific countries, and this is optional. This is absolutely not uh, necessary, but for those users who... Um, who it's very important to find the 100% most accurate ranking in a different country, this is a very neat feature. And what it does is it allows you, let me just go ahead and show you, I'll just put in a fake proxy here. 
Okay, so we'll click add and we'll name it and you can name it whatever you want. So let's say I'm in the US and I want to see how a keyword uh, a website ranks in Germany for a specific keyword. So I'll give it a name. We'll just say Germany here. Um, if it was a private proxy that required login, I would put the username here, the password here, and the port here. And then I would assign this to Germany. So let's say I know that this proxy, um, the server for this proxy is in Germany. So I will save that. And now whenever I go to add the statistic, we'll just go ahead and pick Germany tourism and everything about Germany. We'll assign it to Germany. Um, this w website isn't <laughs> particularly targeted to Germany, um, but just for an example. And now as you can see, that proxy that we just assigned to Germany shows up in this drop down menu. So we'll click save and I'm not going to check it um, in this particular case because I put in a fake proxy but if it was a good proxy I could click play and it would check through that proxy. So now I know for a fact that this website ranks you know exactly what it says here for this keyword in Germany because I know that that proxy is located in Germany so that's an additional thing we've added that a lot of other rank trackers do not add um, and it's something that you know a lot of SEOs find it very important you know if you want to know the absolute most accurate ranking in another country then you need to be checking through a proxy in that country so and like I said this is optional um, if it's not incredibly important that it's 100 percent accurate you don't have to use a proxy when you're checking a different country and if you just want to know the rankings of a website in your specific country then you don't need to use a proxy at all it's no big deal I and mean, then even if you don't use a proxy and you do check in a, a different country, we do use that TLD. So, for example, we do check through Google.de, which is a different results than if you check through Google.com. So it is much more accurate than if you went through Google.com. So it is optional, but for those who um, want that additional, basically that additional layer of accuracy, you can assign a proxy, a known proxy from that country to that country. So you can do that for any country. We just use Germany as the example. And as you can see here, I'll just quickly, um, this is the current Google ranking for the keywords. This is the change <clears throat> um, since the last check. So if I had checked, you know, a couple days ago and it changed, the ranking changed, let's say it went um, up one, it would say plus one and there would be an up arrow here. Or if it went down one, it would say minus one and there would be a down arrow. <clears throat> Same for Bing. Um, this is the country that's assigned to that particular keyword. This is the date and time that it was last checked. And one last thing that we did add, and you can also collapse these um, if you like. And one last thing that we did add right here, if you click this, this is edit comment. So let's say today is the February 1st. So let's say I started an SEO campaign. So started SEO campaign, and this is just an example. You can you know add whatever you want here. We're going to click save. Now whenever I click that history, you'll see there's a, a dot and this is kind of a bad example because um, this is everything's stuck on one because it ranks it stays at number one but um, normally you know you're going to have a little fluctuation so it's going to be a little easier to see but as you can see there's a bigger ye uh, orange dot there and that's basically a note so that dot will stay on this date right here and the date is February 1st as you can see right there February 1st um, 2013 right there and what this does is, let's say a month or two from now, you want to go back and see, okay, so when did I start that SEO campaign? So you go back and you'll see that big orange dot, and it will say, okay, start SEO campaign February 1st, 2013. So then you go, you know, okay, so now we're right here. Where's the ranking now? So how did that SEO campaign affect the ranking of the keyword of the website? So that's a neat little feature we've also added. Um, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, we've made Accurate Tracker very, very user friendly and easy to use. The number one thing is accuracy. We want um, users to be able to quickly and easily, without any frustration or complicated, you know, user interfaces, to quickly and easily find the absolute most accurate ranking of your websites um, as quickly as possible. And we believe, we believe we've done that very well with Accurate Tracker. The initial response has been very great. So if you haven't um, been able to get your copy yet, this is your chance. Go ahead and click the button um, next to this video and you can secure your lifetime license of Accurate Tracker and get all future updates free of charge once you pay that very, very low one-time fee. So go ahead and click that button now and grab your copy. Thanks.